you want better coordination as a goalie, then please stop juggling. Let me explain. Welcome back to Goalie Training Pro TV, Maria Mountain here. And I know a lot of you love juggling and you feel that it improves your eye-hand coordination, helps you track and stop more pucks. But if we look at it from a scientific perspective, you'll see that that is not the case. So stick with me here when we go over the science, because once I do that, then I'm going to give you what you can do instead that 100% is going to help you become a better goalie and more valuable to your team. So first the science, then the drills that are going to translate 100% onto the ice and help you stop more pucks. When we juggle, <laughs> juggling isn't so much about tracking the ball. It's more about learning to throw the ball with the right trajectory, with the right amount of force, so that it has a predictable and consistent path. So what we're really learning to do is how to execute a motor pattern with greater and greater levels of precision. The more consistently you throw the ball with the right force, with the right trajectory, the easier juggling gets. You know when you start and it's wild and your arms are going everywhere. And then when you watch someone who's really good at juggling, you know, their hands hardly move at all. So once you get good at juggling, then it's not really a challenge at all. And I talk to goalies who are really good at juggling. I say, how hard is that for you? Like, not at all. I don't even have to think about it. So it's not really challenging your neuromuscular system anymore either. And we can always add challenge to it. We can juggle flaming torches and apples while we eat them and things like that. But does that really help you stop more pucks? Does that make you more valuable on the ice? Some of you might know that I play the guitar. I dabble in playing the guitar. And if I really decided, boy, I want to get a lot better at the guitar, I think I'm going to start practicing the clarinet. And I just start practicing the clarinet doo -doo 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 -doo, all over the place. And I'm going to get actually quite a bit better at playing the clarinet. And I still have to move my fingers to make the notes. I need to read the music. Uh, you know, I need to learn my breath control and rhythm. So it has all those elements. But then would you expect that I could go back and pick up my guitar and now just start shredding Sweet Child of Mine? So let's apply that same logic to being a goalie. How does developing that motor pattern that helps me juggle help me become a better goalie. So does this make sense? <laughs> and I know some of you are not gonna be very happy that I'm telling you this, sharing this, let's say, because you really, really like juggling and you see any juggle is juggle and you feel that it really helps you. So let's talk about it. Drop a comment below. Let me know if this makes sense. Let me know if you're like, I thought the same thing, <laughs> but you just weren't sure. You didn't want to say anything because all the jugglers would get mad at you. Uh, so drop a comment below, but then let's now talk about what we can do that will 100% help you become a better goalkeeper. Goalkeeper? Are we, are we talking about soccer all of a sudden? Are talking about footy? <laughs> Goaltender. <laughs> Gonna blame it on the altitude. So here is a crazy idea for you. What if all that time you've been spending juggling was instead spent on something like, hmm, what could it be? Puck handling. It takes about the same amount of space as juggling. Juggling doesn't take a whole lot of space unless you're wild about it. <laughs> and even then it isn't that much space. Same with puck handling. You don't need a lot of room and you can go in the basement, go in the garage, go on the sidewalk, go out in the parking garage. There's always a space where you can puck handle. You have the equipment, you have a glove and blocker and a hockey stick and a, a ball or a puck or something that you can use. So <laughs> I'm not the one to be teaching you puck handling. If you've seen me handle the puck, I have scored on my own net for sure uh, on just a very easy dump in. So I'm not gonna share my puck handling prowess with you at this stage, but thankfully you'll notice the backdrop. I am a very small, very loud truck going by right now. <laughs> that was like a cube van. I thought it was like a logging truck or something, but it was a cube van. But luckily I'm out in Colorado at the GGR right now where there are loads of really good goalies and goalie coaches. So let's do ourselves a favor and jump in my sick rental car, which I might just drive this thing right back to London, Ontario. I'm not kidding you. Let's hop in that baby, head on over to the rink and get some of the real goalie experts to uh, show us their favorite puck handling drills. Here we go.
Now the cops are coming. Up to the rink we go. So we're out here for the first on ice session at the GGR, and uh, so I'm gonna hunt down a few of these goalie coaches and I'm gonna show you a puck handling drill or two. Simple drill that I like to do. It's a little bit of puck handling, not so much in a sense of shooting the puck, but more or less controlling rebounds and, and having to deal with loose pucks in here. Um, it helps to have, if you have a goalie partner, different spots here. We can just have the puck uh, in close to us tight, pull it in, cover it, and then if we have a goalie partner, I can work on sending that puck with one hand, either forehand or backhand, and being able to control a rebound and then send it off to my partner. So a really easy stick handling drill. You don't need a lot of room. All you gotta do is you're working on your top hand. You're basically just gonna be doing backhand toe drags. We're gonna go clockwise around the puck. So the first time, I just want you to go one-handed. Pull the puck around the, each puck, it's going around. Very easy. But then you got the top hand figured out, but now I want you to place your top, your glove hand on your stick and do the same exact thing. Pull around the puck, pull around the puck. Easy breezy. You don't need a lot of space, you don't need a lot of room, but you can do it. So one puck handling drill that we can work on at home uh, is a little bit of rotation. You have your upper body here. You want to work on the rotations, rotation, rotation. Look, hard flat pass, pull him back, take it, rotate, rotate, look, head up the whole time, head up the whole time, pull him pass, get it again, a couple stick handles, and you go on the backhand side, backhand side, backhand side, pass and flat, something like that. So that's why I want you to stop juggling as a goalie. If you're gonna invest time learning a new motor pattern, learning a new eye-hand pattern, hand-eye pattern, then let's make it as specific as possible to what you need to do on the ice, and puck handling will do that. You could also work on your, just your catching with your glove on, but juggling is just like trying to practice a completely different skill, hoping there'll be transfer. If we do puck handling, we know there's gonna be a transfer. So if you got some value out of this video or you just like seeing some of the goalie coaches, you know, give you their tips for a puck handling drill you can work on at home, hit me with a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribed, hit the bell so you find out about new videos before everybody else. You don't have that FOMO going on. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I will catch you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Love you guys.